If you need to save a still image for a video clip for something like a thumbnail, I'm gonna show you how to do that inside DaVinci Resolve. You do something like what I used to do before, which was just go full screen, do that with Control F, and you can hold down, I'm on a Windows, so to do a screenshot, I'd hold down Windows key, Shift, and S, and that would bring up this, and you know, just draw a box around the video. Boom, you get your screenshot. You're not going to get the full quality image doing that. It's only based on your video monitor's resolution and also on your actual computer screen's resolution. So I'm on a 2K monitor and the highest resolution I'm gonna be able to get is a 2K image. Instead, what you want to do is hop over to the color tab. From here, you want to click on the gallery, which is up in this top corner if you don't see it. Click on that. And now what we can do is find the particular spot on the clip that we wanna use. Say it's like this, right click on top of the image and hit grab still. And that's going to pop it up into the gallery. However, it actually didn't save the image yet. So we still need to save that. To do that, you right click on top of it and go to export. Now we can navigate to where the folder is. We want to download it and we can retitle it and in the drop down, save it as a file type you want, like JPEG, PNG. So let's go with JPEG, I'm gonna save that, export, and there it is, it saves it, and it does keep a DRX file along with it. Just delete that, because you don't really need it for the image. Do keep in mind the resolution of the exported image is going to be based on the actual resolution of your timeline. So if you want a 4K image, make sure you're grabbing the steel from a 4K timeline. If you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna show you that as well. Hop back over here, we're gonna to go to our timeline, right click on the timeline, timelines, timeline settings, right here, this is the resolution that we're using and we can go to something higher. But obviously if the original image is something lower than the timeline, it's not going to really make that big of a difference. So just put it to the highest resolution that you can. And that's how you grab a still image from a video in DaVinci Resolve.